Ahead of starting the third year of his term, Chief Executive John Lee met with the press and emphasized that being the city's leader is a mission. This means to only focus on one task, doing our best to accomplish our duty and be fully devoted, he said. When asked whether he would seek for the next term, Lee pointed out that there is nothing else on his mind and reiterated that he would only focus on the responsibilities that he's shouldering now. While refusing to rate his own performance, the SAR chief said he has already fulfilled a number of goals that he proposed in his election manifesto. These include completing the legislation for the domestic national security law, setting up care teams across all 18 districts, and capping the average waiting time for public rental housing at six years. Even with Basic Law Article 23, it does not mean people would not carry out acts that threaten national security, Lee said. But by stepping up education, the chief executive believes it would help raise public awareness. He also revealed that all members of his cabinet have fulfilled his expectations and hopes the team could sail like a boat that keeps moving faster towards the same direction. Separately, three foreign judges from the city's top court have resigned after the high court handed down the verdict for the largest national security trial to convict all but two of the 16 defendants pleaded not guilty to conspiring to commit subversion. When asked whether the region no longer needs overseas non-permanent judges, Lee emphasized that he would retain the mechanism of having overseas judges in Hong Kong. He did not rule out the possibility of appointing judges from Southeast Asian countries to sit on the Court of Final Appeal. Janice Lowe, KBU News.